temperance and discipline. Boils. Let's do this another way. Target confirmed. All is fair and war. Sure. Administering embracing change.
This power you just gave me. Do you always trust others so easily? I see my way clear. Confirmed.
it's time. I see. Yes. I can feel the tension in the streams. I'm worried something bad is gonna happen. There you are, Rover! Remember to check your terminal signals and wear the Academy's protective suit correctly. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Now, I have experiments to run. Take care. The Academy has noted a concerning rise in tacit field activities. Please use caution when exiting the city. It's just Baija being Baija. She's a little awkward with showing care, but I think it's cute. Anyway, Rover, quick, tell us what happened. The Frax at us again? Ugh, those jerks! Jian the General, Jean C the Magistrate, and Jue, the Jinjo Sentinel. Connection? No idea. But I did hear General Jian used to be a military doctor. Hmm. Speaking of that, I think we'll need to start with a bit of Jinjo's past. A storyteller near the theater once told us something like this. The Honorable Madame Jinzi, our great magistrate of Jinjo, was handpicked by Sentinel Jur. Her status as the Sentinel's appointed resonator is rare among all past magistrates. Our Jinjo was leaderless for years until Jur finally chose her to be the next magistrate, and she answered the call. To further elaborate, we must start with the battle beneath the Crescent. The Norfall Baron, scarred by countless wars, discarded weapons scattered like bones. Our soldiers had fought to reclaim the land for years to no avail. Overthrax, the dreadful Thrinodian monster, fed on the frequencies of weapons, turning our fallen soldiers into deadly tacit discords. General of the Midnight Rangers, Geshu Lin, bravely rose to confront the threat. As Twin Moons aligned, General Geshu Lin vowed to vanquish evil, raising his blade against the blood-red crescent that foretold destruction. His sword blazed with black flames, laying waste to all who dared stand in his way. Victory seemed certain. Until the retroact rain began to fall. Raindrops fell upwards as in the past. Monsters raged, loyal souls fell to blood-soaked sands, infernal carnage. Issuing his last command, Geshu Lin demanded all soldiers stand firm no matter what happened. Sacrificing his body to the black flames for power, Geshu Lin charged at the Overthrax with all his might. And he was never seen again. After the fall of their leader, the remaining soldiers despaired until the deafening roar of Chin Long struck like lightning. A lone youth bravely stood up to lead a hard-won retreat. After the battle, that young man who tamed the wind ascended to fame, becoming the new general of the Midnight Rangers, selected by Sentinel Jur. On the other hand, General Geshu was blamed for the massive losses that occurred under his command, earning him a notorious reputation in Huan Long. That battle struck us hard, but our Sentinel rose from its long slumber to select a new magistrate who will guide us into the future. Despite the previous disaster, Jinjo was off to a promising start under our Sentinel and the new Magistrate's guidance. The people held hope for a better tomorrow. Oh, for 
first time hearing about all the... Uh, maybe the Sentinel had its own special ways of picking candidates. Or maybe it is their incomprehensible ways that set these divine beings apart from us. Their thinking tends to be elusive to the average person. Yeah, true. Wouldn't be surprised if Jue decided to make me the magistrate one day. Not gonna lie. I understand your concern, Lover. Madam Jinshi was only a teenager, and she was suddenly selected to be the magistrate. It must have been so difficult for her. I remember people were skeptical when she first took office. Despite her achievements, many believed she lacked the necessary experience and authority in the political realm. People only showed their respect to Madame Jinshu because they trusted Jue's judgment. Seriously, Lord Jue knows how to choose him. Our previous magistrates were all top-notch at running the show. And Madame Jinshi, she's already made the city a well-oiled machine in no time. I'd have a mental overclock just trying to keep up with all that paperwork. She was made for this. Uh, what is that saying again? Real gold never loses its shine. Grover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madame Jinshi? Black Shores? Doesn't ring a bell. It sounds like the name of a place, but I've never seen it on any map. This flower... It's only a photo, and I can't tell where it came from with my ability. Hmm... We're still in the dark about Fraxida's plans, and the Norfolk Barrens is too risky. The Black Shores seems to be our only option now, but... If we are to look for them with only a photo of this flower, it's going to be difficult. Since it's about flowers, we should go ask Grandma Lin. Yes, Grandma Lin runs a flower shop. I'm sure she can give us some tips. <laughs> You're making me blush a little. Grandma Lin loves listening to storytellers. I think I saw her earlier. Let's go look for her. Shisha, Yang Yang, what brought you here? Hey, Grandma Lin, we're here for some stories today, and here's our new friend. Ta-da! We've got the ultimate badass here, the one who can crush TDs, cook up Echoes, knock Inferno Rider flat, and KO Phalian Baringal with a single punch. The legendary Rover! <laughs> so you are the famous rover. Oh, youngsters these days are really something. Grandma Lin, since you're the flower expert, I got a favor to ask. Have you seen flowers like... Hmm, I don't think I've seen anything similar. Not even in the plant encyclopedias. Oh, no. If not even a folk. She... Oh. Yeah. And she... I'd call... Oh. My apologies, but I don't remember... It's time. should be the shortcut to the back mountain. Once we cross the waterfall, we'll reach Mount Pingting. The flowers seem to be showing us the way. Let's follow it.
A bridge of flowers. <laughs> That's impressive. Hello? Are you lost? Oops, sorry. I should have introduced myself first. I know it's a polite thing to do in Huanlong. It is. It is a delight to make your acquaintance. I am Verena. My pressure to have the opportunity to meet with you today. <laughs> My apologies. I used to live in the New Federation, so I'm not very familiar with the language here. Hi, Verena. I'm Chisha. This is Yang Yang, and he's Rover. Grandma Lin told us we should come find you. Oh, right. Grandma Lin talked about you. I left those flowers so she knows how to reach me. What seems to be the trouble? If there's anything I can help you with. We're looking for a special flower. Hmm, it's an unusual flower indeed. Pure black flowers are rarely found in nature. We can... When looking at the structure, there are a few types of flowers that seem similar. Take iris, for example. Its petals are similarly oval-shaped, but it has double petals. And it's not viola either, since viola has notched petals. Then there is also the cliff recluse, but this flower has a longer stamen and an extra petal. <laughs> Lemongrass is also similar in shape. It's native to the New Federation, and Huanlong people may not be familiar with it. Though it has a similar stamen length, it has a conical inflorescence with a trumpet-shaped corolla. Oh, and I almost forgot the peacock flower. It's a single petal flower with a similar stamen length. But the peacock flower has a distinct peduncle, while this one doesn't. Wow, you really know your stuff. I learned a lot from that. Anyway, this black flower does look very special. There are hardly any similar plants in nature. So I'm thinking it might be a newly cultivated species. Also, its veins are somehow cross-shaped. I can feel some faint traces of frequency fluctuations on it, too. It's a sign of overflowing remnant energy. So my guess is it should be a unique remnant plant created by a certain type of resonance energy. But in order to figure out the right soil for it, or exactly what type of resonance energy it is, I need more than just a picture. Gosh, help us out, someone. We don't know what kind of flower it is, and we haven't seen anyone wearing it either. Speaking of that, how does it even work? If I wore this flower on me right now, do I automatically become one of them? Chithia, wait, what did you just say? Uh, yeah, I was just saying, if I wore this flower, would they immediately see me as one of their own? If this black flower is indeed their symbol, the Black Shore members should immediately notice it on you, but to everyone else, it would just look like a peculiar flower. Given that, if they are indeed in Jinjo City, we may only need to wear this flower to lure them out. Oh, I see. But how do we get our hands on one? Um, I, I, I could probably make one for you with my resonance ability, if you just need something that looks similar. Come on, Verena. You can do it. No way! That's amazing. Seriously. It looks exactly like the flower in that picture. <laughs> Thank you. It's nothing. I'm glad I could help. It's freaking amazing! Could you do that again? Please! I love it!
Rover, have you noticed? We've been seeing these black petals for a while now. Their scattered streams have been disrupted. Someone has been following us. Rover, are you sure you want us to leave? It could be dangerous for you. Okay. Trisia and I will wear these black flowers and go look for members of the Black Shores in the city. Rover, please be careful. Ring us anytime when you need help. Braxidus. What are they doing in the place of this? Always getting it our way. And what are you doing here? The wind noises persist. They're coming after me. If I climb up to that point, I should be able to get behind that person. Better hide here for now. Hmm. Looking for me? Oh, here you 